Can people really come back from the dead? Some people think they already have, and if you don't die in the next two minutes, you'll find out why. There's a lot we don't know about how our brains and bodies work, or sometimes don't work as expected. These conditions might sound like fiction, but they're very real, if very rare. After surviving a stroke or traumatic brain injury, very few people find themselves speaking with a strange new accent. Foreign accent syndrome is caused by damage to parts of the brain that control and coordinate the muscles used in speech. It changes the way you pronounce vowels and consonants, positions your tongue differently, and shifts the rhythms of your words. It's not that you've actually adopted a specific dialect, you'll have traces of a few different accents, and listeners might pick out whatever's strongest or most familiar to them. Speech therapy can help, but no known cure exists. No, this one doesn't cause you to howl at the moon, and it won't make you better at high school sports. Werewolf syndrome, properly called hypertrichosis, is the overproduction of hair. It can affect your whole body or just isolated spots, and anyone, men, women, babies, and adults alike, can experience it. It's the result of a genetic mutation. The fine, soft hair that covers a fetus continues to grow instead of shedding before birth as per the usual. It can develop later in life due to your body's reactions to hormone imbalances, anabolic steroids, or other medications. This psychological disorder is diagnosed along with depression or other conditions, but it has a striking symptom of its own, your belief that you are dead or that some parts of your body are missing or rotting. First described in 1880 by Dr. Jules Cotard, this delusion doesn't always affect your speech, movement, or other behavior, but you'll insist that you are dead, which gives the disorder its colloquial name, walking corpse syndrome. Treatments include the standards for extreme depression and delusion, like psychiatric drugs and electroconvulsive therapy. Sometimes called persistent sexual arousal syndrome or restless genital syndrome, this physical disorder causes uncontrollable, painfully intense genital stimulation in women, independent of sexual desire and purposeful contact. As little as the vibration of a moving car can set off hours of life-stopping sensation, sexual contact or orgasm don't help, they aggravate the symptoms. Researchers aren't sure why it happens or how to stop it, but some suggest that it's related to varicose veins and restless leg syndrome. That's all the bizarre medical stuff we have time for today, but to learn more, like how mosquitoes spread elephantitis, check out our article, 10 Bizarre Medical Conditions, on HowStuffWorks.com. And hey, if you dug this video, go on and hit like and subscribe so that you won't miss the next one.